This tutorial is about some of the problems you might experience when trying to send an email. We're going to use a group to send this email. The group is called test group and three people, there are three recipients are Karina, Heather and myself. Okay, let's get on with it. We're going to create a new email campaign. We're just going to call this one XXXX. Oh, XXXC, okay. We're going to choose the main template. And we're not going to bother with it. We're just going to keep going. Because the interesting stuff is here when we add this group. This group begins with TES. Add the test group. And down here we see selected contact one. That's a bit odd because I thought it was three. Okay, so let's go and have a look at those people. We need to go to the contacts, groups, test group, and we'll start with Karina. And oh, Karina has unsubscribed from your email campaigns. Let's have a look at her comms preferences. You can see that they're grayed out. You can also take a look on the email thingy on suppression list, and there she is. Now, how do you get off the suppression list? That's another question. Right now, let's keep going back to the contacts and look. Let's only explain one of the uh, discrepancies. We go back to test group. We look at Heather. And we look at her comms preferences, and she's just fine. Cancel that. Back to the group. So it must be me. So what's up with me? Comms preferences. I haven't got any comms preferences. I need to be given one, so to speak. And then we go to the email again. We see that the number is still one. Well, now it should be two. And the reason is, is that we have to re-add the group. So we go and edit that, add the group. There it is. Okay, so that's an illustration of the kind of problems and what you need to do. We're not going to go any further with this because um, I can't stop laughing. <laughs>